Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to episode 37 of Rustic Waters 2. And um didn't do much during ep between episodes. Um got a steel got a steel crop growing. We got a bit of steel essence. The um the mob farms are going well. Um I've had a problem where there's not enough channels to sort out down here. Not sure why. I mean, I'll figure it out at some point. But I really don't know why. Um, Did I do anything else? The only other thing that I did was that I set up auto crafting for... um. Oh, what do you call this stuff? For steel. So I can make steel dust now. And I've also finally set up the mechanism, one mechanism, well, automation for um, enriched, enriched things. So enriched redstone, enriched diamond, enriched carbon. Um, I was doing it by hand before, but now it's it's all automated. Took me a while to work it out. Um, the trickiest part is the inputs because, well, not so much this one because this is all I had done it so that output goes to the bottom input goes into the back but I could have had I could have made it a bit more compact and just had the interface and that input and output go in both from the front and from the back so you just have the one ME interface but it I mean it's fine it it, it works so I'm gonna leave it um the infusion chamber was a little bit more complicated because you have your input up here you have your output down here but then you have your other slot which is here so what I did was that from the left I've got an export bus and that's bringing in the carbon and then the back is input and output and obviously auto eject is on so that now works so that's cool. Um, I put um, terminal back up here because I added more cables. So hopefully, you know, it all works and stuff. Um, anything else? No, that's it. And what I want to do today, I want to start building the rocket ship because we need to start thinking about getting out of here. So, yeah. And that's when I realized I needed lots of steel so I started on steel production so um I made the battery but I didn't actually put it together um I don't think I need it just yet I might do I don't know I'll have to see how it goes but I really didn't feel like putting it together just yet I will get there eventually um, I made the Byzantium blocks to upgrade a jellyfish necklace, villager hat and overcompensation. Okay. Don't know what that is. Um, so I did that. I mean, the other thing is to find the keys in the end, but that's something that I would do offline. I don't know if I would, if I will upgrade the Woot Farm. If I do, obviously that's going to be off camera. But um, at the moment, I don't see any need to upgrade it yet. Um, but we've been collecting lots of wool. There's been loads of cerulean essence and celadon essence, but only one Byzantium essence. And what I did is that you can craft Byzantium essence using the um, the Enchanting apparatus by Dantium. So you use mythical clay and nether quartz and blue ice and it will give you Byzantium essence. So I did that to make the, the, the bits that you need to complete that little section. So 
Um, let's put these things away. And then I can look at uh, crafting terminal. Uh, Juris my diction. Oh no, it's gone into the backpack. That's why I can't find it. Jelly necklace, what does that do? Regeneration plus 200 health when underwater. Um, 25% magic damage resistance and 20%, oh, minus 20% swimming speed. Okay, interesting. Goes in the necklace slot. Do I have anything in the necklace slot? I probably do. Amulet of mana boost. Oh, we get two necklaces. All right, um, very quickly, let me see if I have an unbreaking book. Oh, nice. All right, let's charm you. That's not what I meant. Enchant, enchant, not charm. Oh, okay. Get an achievement for that. And now the durability is a thousand. Okay, right, let's see. Let's start making bits of a rocket. Let's see how much we can get done. So, returning to space. The jump gate network was a collaborative effort. While mostly funded by Caladan, the labor and resources were provided by the nearby colonized planets. The jump gate allowed for nearby instantaneous travel between Andromeda and the Milky Way. The abandoned Mer Mercury jump gate may be your only way back home. That's this up here. Oh. Okay. Okay. Chaotic what? And we need a chaotic flight module. Oh, we have to go and kill the, the chaos dragon. Oh. Oh. Not happy. Not happy. Hey, not happy. Right, let's not worry about that. Let's see what we can do. Ship control interface. Um, you will not be able to finish this quest chain without also jumping around to other quest chains to advance your technology, mop drop acquisition and power generation. Okay, that's fine. And we have to start planning to get off the rock. Um, we're going to need a powerful rocket and a jump gate programmer to send you back to your galaxy. We don't have the materials, but scans done by Caladan's research department did show some materials, suitable materials on a nearby planet atom. All right, so ship control interface. That is here. Let's see how much of this we actually, no endearing plates, but we can stick them in the multi-servo press. Um, how many did we need? I don't know. We'll just get 32. Uh, multi servo presses here on the end. Does this have any augmentations? No, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, got this. Oh, we can craft. Oh, we have that one? No, we have this one. Craft that one. Let me craft. Okay. Oh, I remember what I was doing before I kind of rage quit. It wasn't so much rage quit. It was, I went downstairs to get um, Imperium Essence, get Essence, basically. And that's how, that's when I discovered that downstairs was offline. That's what, that's what I was doing. Because I wanted to make Signalium seeds. Everything else. Put that down and have a look at it. Oh, it doesn't actually do anything. Okay. Right, next thing. Oh, we get a resonant, res, reson, resonant thingy, component. Right, the next thing is two Enderium engines and two Enderium tanks. All right, so Atom is the planet we can reach. It's a dry, hot desert planet and it may still be teeming with life. Ah. The primary source of draconian ore. Okay, so that's how we're going to get draconian, because it's usually in the end, but I don't remember seeing any in the end. So that's how we're going to get into... Draconic evolution. Two Enderium 
engines. Two Enderium tanks should be enough. We're missing engine frame. We're missing ingots. Still ingots, still rod. Nope. Okay. Picking the wrong thing. What are we looking at? This one, Enderium engine. Now we want two flint and steel. We want want three blaze rods. Got blaze rods downstairs. I'm gonna have to try and work out why there's a channel missing. I don't know. Like two Enderium engines and two Enderium tanks. We need pressure valves. Right, that's done. We get a ten coin for that. And then we need a rocket nose cone. A steel plate, redstone torch, steel scaffolding. The steel scaffolding. There is on the ocean floor, I found um, anchors. You can find anchors and they have, they're made out of steel scaffolding. So I totally went and plundered it because I figured it might be useful at some point. Not knowing, we need six rocket fins. Okay. Not knowing that it actually was going to be useful. Okay. Elite crafting tape. Don't we have one of those already? We do. Oh, now we have two. That's, that's ominous. I hope there's nothing that goes like across both crafting tables because that would be annoying. Okay, so now we want a tier two Enderium rocket. Okay, the six fins, the tanks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Enderium plates, Liberty, two Liberty fragments. Okay, we have all of that. So we want nine endearing plates. Um, oh, this has gone and put itself round again. I want it sort by number of items and that way round, right. Um, Liberty fragments, blue one, that, anything else? We have a rocket. <laughs> that always makes me laugh. <laughs> I mean, just look at me, I'm strong. Right, so we have our rocket. We get a 16k storage component. Okay. All right, we need to make a launch pad. So that's nine launch pad and nine blocks of iron. I don't like the fact that AE2 doesn't recognize an item if it's got durability, any, you know, durab durability on it. Because that's really annoying. Want eight. Okay, and we get ancient debris for that. Awesome. So now that you have your rocket, let's set up the system used to launch it. The launch pad needs for your rocket must be built of sturdy iron blocks with a three by three. Of launch pads on top of it. Scaffolding isn't required, but it makes it look a bit more launch pad esque. No? What's on top of there? If I knew what was on top of there, I would totally recreate it. But I don't know what's there. Is it nighttime? Nope, it's not. Totally daytime. Okay, let us. Okay, so it was the nine. That looks so cool. Look at it. That looks so cool. Um, no, there's no fuel in it, so not going anywhere. Okay, right. 
um, fractionating still. We have one of those. I think I might have. We've got one that's upstairs and doing stuff. I'm um, well downstairs because we are upstairs. We have one that's doing stuff. I might have. Where are we going? This way. I might have one that um, a reward, maybe. I don't know. Nope. Okay. Let's see. Where is the. Where is my fractionating still? Here? Here. Okay. I know. Because it's in my backpack. Okay. We've done that. Get some XP. And now we need to make our suit. What else do we need? Okay, a rover. All right. Well, I think the suit is going to be the next thing that we make, rover. Okay. Let's make the space suit. Although I think I should be able to make it. And I will have to remember to make a feeding module. Okay. And we get a speed upgrade. Nice. Oh, I didn't read it. And we get an enchanted book. All right. Alien life forms can be dangerous. Atom and Venus in particular have very dangerous, high health, heavy hitting creatures. It is highly advised that you enchant your armor to the fullest, prepare your weaponry and master your magic as you prepare for space. And okay, oxygen must be loaded into the chest piece of your spacesuit. All right, that's going to be the last thing that we do today. Here's our oxygen loader, our spacesuit. All right, that's going to take a while. But that's fine. Actually, it's not going to. Yeah, it's taking a little bit. But we have it. It's a pity I just got. <laughs> I just got automated flight creative flight that's the word i was looking for and now i have to kind of give it up for a little bit all right let's put now we want that and i'm not moving fast anymore oh that is painful oh it's But we are we are reaching we're reaching the end game we are getting there oh look the in the the oxygen indicator right so we have oh my jelly necklace that's pretty cool but we've got our rocket and we have our um 
got our spacesuit. So next episode, hopefully we can finish that quest line and get up into space. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.